Figure 3.1 shows a 12 gram bullet shot vertically into a 5 kilogram block and lifting it upwards to a maximum height of 4 mm. The bullet travel for 1 millisecond in the block uh, before stopping completely. Calculate the speed of the bull block and bullet just after the collision. Okay, so here is about collision. Okay, we use uh, conservation of momentum. Um, okay. okay, first of all, what information do we have? Okay, we have the bullet. Okay, it is about the bullet between the bullet and the block. Okay, we put the bullet as uh, okay, this is mass one. Put that as mass one. Okay, again, this is mass one. Okay, it's gram. You have to change to kilogram, so it's 0 0.012 kilogram. The block is mass two, uh, it's a uh, five kilogram. Okay, now this is the height, uh, four millimeter. Uh, okay. Uh, this is the one millisecond. Yeah, it travels from one millisecond in the block before stopping completely. So speed of the block and bullet just after the collision. Okay, so um, okay, so to do the question one, you need the height. You need the height. This height, uh, we can use the conservation of energy. Conservation of energy. Uh, okay, what I can say is uh, here actually got. Uh, two process okay here actually got two process um, first is the bullet okay not uh, not hitting uh, not hitting the block yet okay it travel upwards with initial velocity uh, hit the block okay this is the block okay hit the block uh, after hitting the block okay this is the first first one second one is uh, it hit the block and it embed, it embed inside, yeah, it embed inside uh, the, the bullet and the block together, uh, yeah, the, together, and then it go upwards, uh, it go upwards uh, until this point. Uh, this one is conservation energy, yeah, with certain height, okay. Uh, so, uh, what I can say is, uh, okay. Uh, look at this. Um, we I show it this way. First step is the bullet hit the block. Uh, so we have uh, okay. This one is the initial velocity is zero. Okay, but the bullet has initial velocity u. Um, we put this as um, this is m one. This is m one. This is m two. Okay, this is a uh, u one. This is u two. We don't know the u1. We don't know the u1. Uh, okay. The after hitting the block, the block, the block and the bullet travel together with common velocity, uh, going upwards. Uh, this is after after the bullet enter the block, uh, and then both of them travel upwards. So uh, process number two is. Both of them are going upwards. Okay, this uh, final velocity become the initial velocity, become the initial velocity going upwards until the maximum height. Yeah, until the maximum height of four millimeter. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry, until the maximum height four millimeter, isn't it? Uh, so finally, the final velocity at maximum height is zero. Uh, okay, so okay. So again, first step is the bullet uh, hit the block. Okay, this is before collision. You can say this is a <coughs> uh, this is the process before collision, and then it hit it hit the block. This one become after collision. Uh, after collision, <coughs> after collision, uh, the bullet and the block. They all they together have a common velocity. They're traveling together. They stick together. They stick together perfectly in elastic collision. <coughs> okay. Ah, this is the first step. So for this one, this 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 part we use uh what we use what? Conservation of momentum. We use conservation momentum. And then for the second part is <coughs> the bullet and the block together. They travel upwards uh, until at the maximum height. Yeah, this is this is the maximum height. Um, they become the maximum height is uh, measured. The maximum height is measured 
from where the block initially is yeah it's measured from here measured from here it's not measured from the ground huh? it's measured from the the block initially the initial position of the block understand initial position of the block uh, so uh, measure so the the bullet and the block they travel together going upwards to the maximum height uh, four millimeter at the maximum height the final velocity is zero so this is uh actually what you say is a uh, kinetic energy huh? it's like a uh, kinetic energy change to potential energy uh, kinetic energy change to potential energy so uh, so this is about conservation of uh, the second step is about conservation of uh, we use conservation of mechanical energy uh, mechanical energy yeah? uh, mechanical energy this one is actually in chapter 5 chapter 5 conservation of mechanical energy which involve the kinetic energy and potential energy only but uh, this one we will talk later yeah so or we also can use the you know the formula uh, acceleration due to gravity okay uh, so there are either ways you can do these questions but i use the conservation of mechanical energy okay uh, all right so okay now we want to find what what, what what we want to find we want to find the speed of uh, the bullet and the block just after just after the collision uh, just after the collision which is which is this uh, we want to find this v just after the collision uh, this v how to find this v can we use conservation momentum to find the v uh, the thing is we don't have the u1 we don't have the initial initial speed of the bullet we don't have we don't have the u1 we don't have that we have, don't have that so we cannot find v so to find the v we need to use the conservation of mechanical energy the second process to find the v uh, the v here is actually equivalent to the u here oh sorry it's equivalent to the u here you understand ah this is the final velocity after collision is the initial velocity of the bullet and the block to bring to bring them to the maximum height. Uh, the initial velocity here is the final velocity here. Okay, so let's use the conservation of mechanical energy to do question one. All right, so uh, let's begin. So question one, uh, we use conservation of mechanical energy. So it is actually a um, uh, initial uh, the total initial energy is equal to total final energy conservation of mechanical energy yeah or we can say uh, or we can say uh, u plus k initial is equal to u plus k final uh, that means potential energy plus kinetic energy initial is equal to potential plus kinetic final okay but initially it doesn't have and uh, this is velocity <laughs> this is velocity yeah uh, don't don't mistaken this is velocity and this is uh, uh, potential energy and this is potential energy two different thing uh. yeah this one is a small letter small letter u this one is capital u uh, this one is capital U. I should put it as capital. Capital. Capital U. Yeah? Uh, that is small letter U. U. Small letter U is initial velocity. A capital U is a potential energy. Okay. U plus K. So initially it only has a kinetic energy. Isn't it? So we can say uh, initially has no potential energy. So it's zero. Yeah. It only has kinetic. And then as go to the maximum height. Uh, the potential energy become maximum uh, but kinetic becomes zero because velocity turn to zero uh, so kinetic become zero understand not? Uh, kinetic becomes zero so only has potential energy so now uh, okay so we can use the kinetic here is uh, half the formula for kinetic energy is half mu square uh, yeah kinetic energy here half mu square equal to uh, the maximum height is potential energy mgh uh, still remember mgh uh, mgh uh, so we can uh, you know the mass we can uh, this is a mass for uh, both of them you know the bullet and the block 
the bullet and the block together but this you see here we have mass here we have mass we can cancel them cancel them uh, okay so uh, and then we have half u okay what is the initial velocity uh, we, we want to find u okay now the g 9.81 okay hold on a second okay so the g is 9.81 and then the maximum height uh, the maximum height is 4 millimeter yeah 4 millimeter so we just put 4 millimeter here uh, 4 millimeter milli become an exponent negative 3 because it's milli you understand uh, put it red color yeah milli i change uh, to si unit yeah millimeter millimeter uh, milli is exponent negative 3 remember that yeah and then um yeah okay uh that's it yeah four millimeter yeah that's it and then we calculate yeah let's calculate ah uh, okay so um i got the initial velocity is uh zero yeah uh, after square root i got 0 0.28 ah uh, 0 0.28 meter per second uh it is upwards uh this is their common velocity initial common velocity uh before going up okay so is the answer correct? I don't have the answer, but you can check check with the answer is, is to see whether it's correct or not. Yeah. So now uh, I got the initial velocity 0 0.28. Okay, 0 0.28. Um, okay, I can write over here. Uh, this initial velocity is 0 0.28. 0 0.28. Yeah. 0 0.28. So what I can say is uh, the final velocity after collision here also 0 0.28. Because it is the 0 0.28 that brings uh, both object, bullet and the block, up to the maximum height. Yeah, it is the it is the velocity after the collision that brings the objects, both objects, bullet and the block, go to the maximum height. Okay, it is the velocity after collisions. So 0 0.28 here, 0 0.28 here. So now, okay, we solve for question one. Now we want to find question two: impulse on the block. Okay, impulse on the block. Um, to do the question, impulse on the block, right? All right. To do to find the impulse on the block. Okay, so our concern here is about the block, not the bullet. Yeah. Uh, our concern here, our target, our target is the block. Be careful, not the bullet. Okay, not the bullet. So. To find impulse, impulse is J, isn't it? Impulse is J. J impulse, okay. Uh, what's the formula for impulse? What's the definition of impulse? Impulse definitely is a change of momentum. Okay, but now he wants the impulse on the block. Uh, so the, we, we want to know the change of momentum on the block, not the bullet. Uh, understand or not? Want to know about the block? the block so what we do is uh, change of momentum is a final momentum minus initial momentum remember this is the target is about the block about the block it's not about the bullet so our final momentum we need to find the final momentum of block and also the initial momentum of block not the bullet not the final momentum of bullet not the initial momentum of bullet so actually the initial uh, the initial velocity of the initial velocity of the bullet we also no need to find because we uh, we our concern is not impulse on the bullet our concern is not about impulse on the bullet it's impulse on the block ah so we also no need to find the in, the initial velocity of the bullet before collision we no need to find we no need to find this one ah we just need the initial velocity of the block uh, and also the final velocity of the block. Uh, okay. Uh, in fact, this is a, uh, this one is a block plus bullet. Okay. Um, uh, it's over here. So we can find already. Okay. So now uh, to find that, uh, this, is, this is a uh, final momentum minus initial momentum. That is a change of momentum, which is the impulse of block. So mv minus mu 
So, uh, so this is the you can factorize the mass. Okay, and remember our target is the block, not the bullet. Yeah, not the bullet. So we need the mass of we need we need the mass of mass of block. We need the final velocity of the block. We need the initial velocity of the block. Okay. Uh, so what's the mass of the block? The mass of the block is five kilogram. Uh, five kilogram. Uh, what's the final velocity of the block? Uh, not the not the maximum height fi final velocity. Not th not this velocity. It is it is the final velocity. It is a final velocity after collision. Uh, which it is a final velocity after collision. Not final velocity after go to the maximum height. No, yeah. It's the final velocity after collision, uh, which is zero point two eight. Uh, yeah, zero point two eight. The, uh, the block and the bullet share the common velocity, 0. final uh, 0. 0.28. So that's our, uh, that's our answer, 0. 0.28. And then minus, what's the initial velocity of the block? Uh, initially, it is, it is stationary. Uh, initially, it's stationary. The block is stationary, not moving. So initial velocity is 0. Uh, not the initial velocity of the bullet. Uh, okay, so minus 0. So what answer do we get? Okay, let's find out the answer. Yeah, five times zero point two eight. So I got answer uh, one point four. Uh, one point four. What's the uh, okay? It got two units. K kilogram meter per second or newton second. So you have two units. Uh, that's the answer for impulse on the block. Okay, impulse on the block. Uh, if you want to find impulse on the bullet. Uh, impulse on the bullet then uh, if let's say question 3 uh, want to find impulse on bullet uh, impulse on bullet then the, the change of momentum you need to find change of momentum in the bullet you understand uh, this one use the bullet impulse the bullet change of momentum in the bullet uh, so uh, this one uh, you use the uh, you know uh, final momentum minus initial momentum also it's until the same thing uh, but the thing is uh, if you uh, want to do this you need to use the mass of bullet final velocity of the bullet and the initial velocity of the bullet uh, for uh, for this uh, for the initial velocity of the bullet uh, this one you need to do the conservation of momentum to find the initial velocity of the bullet uh, before collision uh, this uh, so this one uh, you need to do you need to, uh, to find the u you need to use the formula of conservation of momentum yeah that means m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equal to you know you know uh, to find that to find this u uh, you need to do m1 u1 plus m2 u2 uh, equal to m1 plus m2 v uh, yeah we know that uh, this v is 0 0.28 isn't it 0 0.28 uh, the the this is uh, this is the this is the block block uh, initial momentum is zero yeah block initial momentum is zero uh, we need to find this uh, to get to get the uh, bullet initial velocity this is the bullet uh, okay so that's for bullet impulse on the bullet right uh, so uh, that's it uh, that's the answer yeah so uh, one more thing ah. Uh, uh, besides using conservation of mechanical energy, we also can use formula for like, you know, this is actually like kinematics. We can use kinematics. Uh, you can, uh, this is like uh, final velocity is V equal to zero. Initial velocity, we don't know. We want to find uh, acceleration due to gravity is negative G because A, A is uh, negative G, isn't it? Uh, A is negative G. So S is uh, going upward. S is uh, 4 exponent negative 3 meter uh, so we can also use v square equal to u square plus 2 as uh, we, we also can find the uh, initial finally we can use yeah? uh, this one this v becomes 0 yeah? v square becomes 0 uh, this a is a uh, negative g yeah negative or which is a uh, negative 9.81 surely you get the same answer you get uh, u equal to 0 0.28 also uh, this is about kinematics, kinematic formula, uh, or you want to use conservation of energy also can. 
So there are either ways to do the questions. Yeah, uh, you will surely get the same answer. Okay, that's it.